how to um, hack into a source code of a program without even having to edit the coding at all. It's a very special software. It's called Resource Hacker, also known as Res Hacker, R E S Hacker. So it's like the tiniest program ever. It's just a couple kilobytes big, actually. So we're gonna open Res Hacker. You should get this. This should pop up. Now, what? Okay, what program should you? And okay, we're gonna change the icon of Windows Live Messenger. I have the executable right here. This is not a shortcut. This is the executable of Windows Live Messenger. So I'm gonna drag the executable Windows Live Messenger right into Res Hacker, and its property should come up. Um, push on the plus arrow beside the folder that says icon. Now open up one of the icons and push it. There, it'll show what icon it is at the start, right over in this area, and we know it's that green and blue guy. Now we're gonna change this. You right click on the image file, so the thing that has the green gear, right here. You right click it, you go to replace resource. Now open file with a new icon. This button right here, you click that. Virus database has been updated. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm in, I have GameMaker Pro, so I'm gonna use a couple of ICO files. By the way, ICO stands for icon. And for most executables, they require icon files. They can't have like, they can't have stuff like um, uh, GIF, Pinch, stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna, let's use a, hmm, let's use a, some money. I got a picture of money. It's an icon file. So you click open, then you click replace. Now there. Now let's close out of all this stuff. Now when you open up the stuff, it should be the money sign now. Now you click file and save. Don't click save as, just click save once you're done the changes. Okay. There. I just click save. Now now it's it's on my desktop. So you want to refresh your desktop. Okay, you want to refresh it. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to restart your computer for changes to take place. But yeah, with Res Hacker, you should you can actually change the icons of the of the executables, not not just shortcuts and with eco files. There's many other things to do, but I just don't I just don't know what else you can do with Res Hacker, but yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. There will be more coming soon.